Pontefract, a West Yorkshire town with picturesque views, surrounding villages and housing estates, one of which is the Checkerfield Estate, home to an address now claimed to be the most haunted house in the UK. Number 30 East Drive, a now infamous property, was built on a hill where a gallows once stood. From furniture being overturned, lights flickering on and off, pictures being slashed and damaged, pools of water appearing from nowhere, breathing sounds being heard, to a black shadowy figure being seen more and more frequently as the haunting went on. In 1966, Jean Pritchard moved into 30 East Drive with husband Joe and children Philip and Diane. Soon after they started experiencing phenomena, that's made the address famous. Poltergeist activity started happening throughout the house, and in 1968 the local press called the poltergeist Mr Nobody, but the family preferred to use the name Fred. Exorcisms were attempted, and the family were subjected to physical, psychological and emotional abuse. Jean and Joe even coming face to face with a black robed hooded figure since called the Black Monk of Pontefract, leading them to eventually leave the house and in recent years the house has become a bit of a mecca for paranormal enthusiasts. A friend in the US asked me about an article in a British newspaper that they had seen a few years ago about a photo purporting to show the Black Monk. I remembered the exact newspaper article and decided to look at the article and show some other pieces of evidence captured at 30 East Drive. The article was about paranormal investigator Claire Cowell and a photo she took on an investigation at the property. Claire told the newspaper, I have been in 30 East Drive a few times and this particular night the equipment had been active. We had seen marbles being thrown and we kept hearing taps and bangs. It was the end of the night, about 11 p.m., and most of the team had already left. There was only me and two other team members left, and we were packing up. The other two were in the living room, and I went into the kitchen to get a drink. But as I did, I heard a tap in the hallway at the bottom of the stairs. I thought, maybe it could have been another marble, so with only the kitchen light on behind me, I took a photo, but I couldn't see anything. I was unaware of what I'd captured until I went back into the living room to tell the team. The arm you can see in the photo is not a solid form. It looks like mist and is very strange, but you can see the sleeve of a robe hanging down. There is something which looks like rosemary beads in his hand. It really is the only solid picture we have ever really caught of the monk up until now. When I realised what was in the picture, I wasn't scared. I was more shocked, impressed and intrigued. Everyone has been dying to see what this monk actually looks like. I have never seen such a solid clear picture as that. I may never get something like that again. I just happen to be in the right place at the right time. It's so exciting. Let's look at some more of the pictures and maybe a short video what may be evidence of the Black Monk of Pontefract. Thank <laughs> you. 